Next is question number 2.8. An antifreeze solution is prepared from 226.6 grams of ethylene glycol and 200 grams of water. So there is solute and there is solvent. Calculate molality of the solution. So from this it is easy for us to calculate molality. Second is if density is given for the solution as 1.072 gram per ml, what shall be the molarity? So from these values you can easily calculate directly calculate molarity from density you can calculate molarity very easy question here so first since you're calculating molarity let's write the formula for molarity see what is there what is not there in the formula so first is molarity equals number of moles of solute by mass of solvent in kg so this is the formula solute when you say solute is mentioned here ethylene glycol okay and when you talk about solvent it is given as water so things are pretty much straightforward now Mass of solvent is given here in grams. We just have to convert it to kilogram. Number of moles of solute is not given to us. We need to calculate from this weight. So let's see what is the formula of number of moles. Number of moles is equal to given mass by molar mass. Number of moles of solute we are looking so given mass is here, molar mass is what we have to calculate, formula is given to us. So we can write over here, molar mass of C2H6O2 is 2 atoms of carbon into 12 which is atomic mass of carbon, 6 atoms of hydrogen into 1 which is the atomic mass of hydrogen. 2 atoms of oxygen into 16 which is the atomic mass of oxygen. When I simplify all of this I will get 62 grams of ethylene glycol. Let's substitute it in the number of moles. Given mass is here 222.6 grams by molar mass is 62 gram per mole. Gram and gram will get cancelled. When you divide both of this, we will get 3.59 mole inverse will become moles. You have number of moles. You need to look at your denominator which is mass of solvent in kg. Let's put it directly in the question itself, in the equation. So we can write molality equals number of moles of solute we just found out 3.59 moles by mass of solvent in kg mass of solvent is given as 200 grams when you convert it to kg it will be 200 by it is going to be 200 by 1000 when you shift your decimal you will get 0.2 kg that's your conversion so here you can write 0.2 kg when i divide both of this i will get 17.95 moles are on top kg will become per kg so you found out one value which is the molality of this now the second one is to calculate molarity from the density given to us that's also very simple so here you can write that density is given to us as 1.072 gram per ml need to calculate what is molarity let's see the formula molarity is number of moles of solute and the solute mentioned is the same solute ethylene glycol so the value can be taken from here itself divided by volume of solution in liter now here volume of solution is not given instead density is given but definitely we know a relation between density and volume for sure 
so we can write density of solution equals <coughs> density of a solution is mass of a solution by volume of solution all right so this is the formula out of this we know what is the mass of solution we need to know what we know what is the mass of density also we need to calculate what is volume now how about mass from where are we getting it we can write mass of solution equals what mass of solute plus mass of solvent so here mass of solution where when you look at mass of solute mass of solute is 222.6 grams plus mass of solvent is given to us 200 grams when I add up both I will get 422.6 grams that's our mass of solution let's substitute it so volume is equal to volume is equal to mass mass is 422.6 gram by density is given to us 1.072 gram per ml gram and gram will get cancelled volume will be 394.2 ml but the volume you need is in liters so when you divide this by 1000 you will get 0 0.394 liter you have the liters you have what is the number of moles directly substitute in the molarity formula so molarity equals number of moles of solute is 3.59 moles divided by volume of solution is 0 0.394 liter when i simplify both of this i will get 9.11 moles are here liter goes up it will become mole per liter that will give you what is the molarity of the solution